silence your cell phones now. Hi, guys. How'd you find me? You stole William Strang's lady with the red hat from the tape. You can't prove that was me. I got that on Etsy. What's going on, YouTube? It's Etsy, a place to be children. Mr. Andy, back again another movie experience here. And this time we're doing the movie experience for uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock's newest movie on Netflix, Red Notice. Red Notice starring Dwayne Johnson, Ryan Reynolds, and Gail Godot here in this uh Netflix most expensive movie they have ever made before and I was really excited about this movie when it dropped and obviously we did a review on it on last week's podcast but it got cut off along with our home sweet home alone review and so we're doing it kind of uh, well not too much doing it over but uh the, the day gets cut off uh about uh, three quarters to do the review so I do we do apologize about that uh obviously I gave the movie uh I gave it a B I, I thought I, I enjoyed the movie more than what it was I thought it was way better there was some parts of the movie where I felt as though like okay everybody kept getting the upper hand on everybody else everybody kept you know screwing over screwing over screwing over screwing over to the point I was just like all right y'all just pick one and call it a day because we can't have, keep having a twist at the twist at the twist at the twist and then it kind of just like you know it kind of blends everything out so i didn't it's the part I, I i did miss and i definitely have to uh, disagree with the rock when it comes to the part he talked about about the twist i hear the twist i stand up had a baseball hat on i took it off i threw that thing so hard across the, across the room it hit the wall i sat down took a drink and i said i'm 100 in bad man beyond return to joker had a better twist than this movie and that's all I will say right here. You guys enjoyed the, the audio part that, that we did of the on the Nerd Guys Talk podcast, which you can actually listen to on all your podcast apps. And make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. And once again, this is NCM Place to Be. Talk to you, Mr. Andy, and I'll see you at the movies. I said, oh, we didn't talk about Red Notice. Right? We did. You yeah. know, you know, we, we're right. We can't. We can't talk about that. Did y'all, y'all got energy to talk about Red Notice? I, mean, I, I do. Saw, did anybody else watch it? Q, Q, uh, Q did. I did. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm right. with it. Well, yeah. l- l- let's just uh, <clears throat> hold on, everybody. Put your seatbelts back on. Let's just slide right back on in to the movie experience. Okay, movie experience here. Uh, obviously, with with my co-host Lay Sketch and Q Flow Flow the Rookie, we got a new movie that we're gonna talk to you guys about today, and that is going to be The Rock's newest film on Netflix, Red Notice. So, Red Notice is one of the most expensive Netflix movies that w- that was made. Mm-hmm. And the most. Oh, it, oh, it's the most. Yeah. Okay. The most expensive movie that, that Netflix uh, ever made, starring uh, the Rock, uh, Dwayne Johnson, of course, Ryan Reynolds, and Gal Gadot, aka Black Adam, Deadpool, and Wonder Woman. Stop. L- literally, that's how everybody is, is doing it is. right there. <laughs> and it's 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 like a uh, Deadpool three. Would you say, Pro? Deadpool, Deadpool three. That, yeah, you know, yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Honestly, it is because I was gonna get, I was gonna get uh, right on into that because it, it's also kind of like has a mixture of like Da Vinci Code meets Indiana Jones meets everything The Rock was in. Yes, but, it is like an amalgamation of all The Rock movies, except for this time, The Rock actually, you know, feels pain and gets his ass kicked. He got his ass beat a little bit in this movie. I was shocked. Because you know there, there was things I, I I swore up and down that he was uh not gonna be able to feel. But uh, let's just talk about. It. I'm not gonna give it like a full break breakdown of going going through it. But the, what we liked about it, what we didn't like about it, the experience about it. So to so start off with the good, what are some of the things that you know that you guys liked about the movie? Me personally, it had to be. I swear, if nobody told me this would have been, I thought. How Hobbs met Ryan Reynolds in Hobbs and Shaw. Big facts. This could definitely be like that's how a prequel I, to that. Yeah, that's how I thought, thought it was because I was like, you know what? This makes sense because that's what I that's what thought it was. But uh, they got some good chemistry. Mm-hmm. And so does good. You know, yeah, good too. They all yeah, gave them have, have, have a good amount of chemistry in the movie. Mm-hmm. So, I, some of the things y'all like? Y'all just jump in. So. Oh, oh. Um, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I liked it overall. I think it was um, 
I know this sounds probably like corny, but I think it was paced well. Like I hate when it's like you have a movie and it's like there's a lull and I'm just like now you've taken me out of it, I gotta get back in. I was I was all in the whole time. For me personally. Yeah, uh, right, because first of all, it's, yeah, it's under two hours actually. But uh, trust me, there are plenty of movies I've seen under two hours where I've checked out. Fair. How about you, Q? Okay. Yeah, um I I, I kinda agree. Um I thought it was paced really well, it definitely had my attention. Um, it, like, like, it, I'm trying to think. it wasn't as goofy as I thought it would be. And then, um, you know, it, it, it was, it, it kind of made me miss like these sort of spy movies because I haven't seen one in a while. I didn't see James Bond. So this is my first spy movie of the year. And I'm just like, man, I, I, it's a really good spy movie. So, you know. I forgot all about James Bond. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, you know, I ain't get, I ain't get a chance to see James Bond this year. So, uh, that, real quick, speaking of forget, forgetting things, uh huh. I know this is the movie experience, and I'm, I'm about to throw a wrench. Did y'all see King Richard? We haven't watched it yet. It's I on the not. agenda. I'm, I'm trying to watch it this weekend. Okay, I heard this it was. Remember, good. I heard I it was about good. Forgetting thing. Yes, it was, but. I'll let y'all watch you it. Have some, right. You have yeah, some right. nitpicks? No, I, 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 I I'll tell you what. Sh- I have a- oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Pryor. What did you have to say? No, I was about to say, I, I don't know if he has a nitpick, but I know I, I know me and him both got one universal nitpick, and I don't know if he's going to be on the phone long enough to talk about it. What is it? Home Sweet Home Alone. Oh, uh, oh my God. Cause he- <laughs> the, all right, I'm going to just tell y'all... The nitpick I have with it is that I was upset that it's not about the sisters. That's I agree. I ain't seen it yet, and I've been asking the same question the whole time. Look, they they produced it. They seen it and produced it. So they did, and that yeah, they was the, But that's the thing. Folks was getting upset because they was pointing out the stuff that he did before Venus and Serena even came along. And somebody actually hit another like, see, this is crabs in a barrel, bro. If you're gonna make a movie, if you're going to take the vantage point of making a movie about the father of two tennis prodigies, and the movie is not about them, like the center of the movie is not about them, you can't get upset. People be like, y'all, you can't cherry pick what you want to put in there. I'm, I'm confused. But go ahead. I'm, sorry. I'm gonna just. <laughs> go ahead. I'm gonna just say, Sheree, Serena is. Who who is Serena Williams? I don't know who that is. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, I, I gotta okay. I gotta watch the movie. I'm gonna watch it now because we are hot because we are. But anyway, <clears throat> back to red notice. There you throw the mic. Sorry, I apologize. At least, at least I know what to cut it out of. There. Uh, here's what here's one of my gripes with uh red notice though. Is this the bad? We're moving into the bad? Yeah, let's go, go to it. Uh, here's one of the, the things I, I was like, mm, this is going to probably be unpopular, but I need Ryan Reynolds to do something else. You need him to step outside of his box? I need him to stop being Deadpool. I agree. No, <laughs> be Deadpool when it's time to be Deadpool. But... It dilutes it when you Deadpool everywhere. But when you Deadpool everywhere. But remember we was sitting in, in the, we was watching, I said, I wonder what him and Blake Lively house is like. Because at this point, this just mm. got to be his real life personality. It's got to be. And, and, and Grant, that's fine. But it's just like, <laughs> I have seen Ryan Reynolds do different kind of acting before. I have seen Ryan Reynolds do serious acting. I have seen Ryan Reynolds do, like, because he, he was in the Amityville, Amityville Horror. Like, I've seen Ryan Reynolds can go into the tap himself into these roles and bring something different. Then when Deadpool came out, it was like, oh, I get to be myself. I get to be Deadpool all the time. And it's but this was it, Deadpool without the fourth wall. But it's it's it's, it's kind of like so basically I, he's the the white Kevin Hart. Yes. Yeah, that's a good way to and put it. You know that's it's crazy to say that because you know we usually ride for ours over here hard, but facts are facts. 